It's been revealed that staff at NatWest gloated about the closure of Nigel Farage's bank account and suggested that they had single-handedly driven him out of the country. NatWest subsidiary Coots debanked the former UKIP leader in July for what was originally claimed were commercial reasons. But it later emerged executives had acted on political values with internal emails revealing that staff had relished the decision. Internal messages show workers suggested he had dodgy Russian connections and was involved in fraud. Staff also referred to him as a crackpot, sketchy, and an awful human being. Farage has described the comments as vile and called on NatWest to reconsider the £11.3 million payout to Dame Alison Rose, who resigned as CEO in light of the revelations. The bank has since written to Farage to apologize and launched an independent review. Look, at the end of the day, everyone has a different opinion on Nigel Farage, and that is completely irrelevant in this case. Mm. It is extremely terrifying that someone can have their bank account closed <laughs> because of basically internal gossip over whether they like someone or not, mm. right? I, I, uh, for me, it terrifies me because of me. I don't know Nigel Farage, you know, I'm sorry for him, but I don't have a personal connection with him, sorry to, for him to weep. Well, no, it's, it's not a pleasant experience, but I'm thinking, oh my God, if they can do that to him, they can do that to any of us, right? Mm -hmm. I think we have to rise above the political fray and the political chat and look at the real societal implications of of actually being able to, to restrict people's access to financial resources yeah. in this way, <clears throat> just because you don't like their opinion. Poor Nigel, where, hang on, where's the, well, you got the violin small. over there. <laughs> yeah. oh, it's it's so I can't small, find I can't it. see it. Look, the, Farage said it's these- Set close your account down there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Let him all 25 people left Farage in there. Farage said <clears throat> these vile prejudicial comments are a direct result of the culture imposed by NatWest by Dame Alison Rose. No, this is a direct result of you, Farage, being a divisive, vile man who, as we said earlier in the programme... Who deserves to have his bank account closed. Exactly. We, we just said earlier in the programme so. program how currently it's the Jews who are now being blamed. And I said it was the immigrants before that mm. because of people like Nigel Farage. Mm. I couldn't give two hoots if he has his well, bank closed. you should because it'll be you next. This is, going, That's this the point. is already going both sides of the political pendulum. Mm. Uh, Left-wingers are having their accounts closed down, so it is worrying. But this is what this is about. Uh, you know, Dame Alison Rose, uh, he got her, he got her fired, he caused untold problems for Coots, and this is what Nigel Farage does. And I'll tell you what he's doing now. All of those employees, those Coots workers who wrote those messages, he will get them fired. fired he's yeah. gunning for them, and they will lose their job, just like Alison Rose, and unlike them, they won't get 11, her, they won't get 11.3. I think the I mean, I, Don't mess with that guy, he <laughs> is tenacious. I mean, I think everyone's entitled to their own opinion. And if you think that he's vile, and you think that he's a terrible human being, I think that's up to you. I do not believe that anyone deserves to be debanked, uh, but I think actually I'm more concerned mm. about uh, people who have less resources than mm. him. There's about a million people in the UK who are without access to bank accounts for one reason or the other. I'm more concerned about those people than Nigel Farage. Nigel Farage is a very divisive character. People are going to have their own opinions about him. It's not like he didn't have another account. It's not like he didn't have anywhere else to go. He, I feel well, like he, I agree with JJ that he well, is literally- he didn't. Well, I mean- I he, went, he, went, he tried nine other banks. But, they all turned him down. And, in and, the end, Coots had him back. And that's because <laughs> he is a hugely divisive figure. I don't feel sorry for him in any way, shape or form. <laughs> and like I so, said, so, I'm more concerned about the million people in the UK who don't don't have access to banking. But, but, but that's a slightly different point. Point. But that's it's a slightly it's different point. About, this is about having <coughs> bank accounts closed down for your political it's... opinions. And as I say, it's happening to people on the left and the right, both of whom uh, we should support because this is wrong. You, you, you can't. You yeah, and, so I, I, and I said that. I don't, I I don't don't agree, agree with that you, anybody Kevin. should be debanked. No, I, no, I think that's the point. Is yeah. it? So it's actually so not up, about. Shut up, JJ. You're wrong. But I do. I do. I do think that you you shouldn't be able to say, "I'm sorry, I don't like this person. I don't like this person. I don't like their views or anything else." I mean, there are probably an awful lot of people in on that score who should be debanked because yeah. they've got appalling views. It's just that they're not famous. And, and who Nobody should, knows who, who they who are. Who should have and why, who should have the power to, to actually debank yeah. because the, even the bigger implications. But staying in the city, so the cap on bankers' bonuses is set to be abolished um, with, with since the EU rules have been removed. The policy change was initially announced by the former chance, uh, Chancellor Kwesi Kwarteng in the infamous September mini budget of the uh, Liz Truss's premiership. Do you guys remember that when like the whole no. collapsed? Oh, yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> Okay. My mortgage has never recovered. <laughs> Someone. It was one of the few announcements to be retained when Chancellor Jeremy Hunt took charge of the Treasury. And city executives have complained that the cap was a barrier to recruiting and retaining quality staff, and London was losing out on talented workers as a result. And I've obviously been say, said I agreed with this as someone who used to work in sales. It actually incentivizes better behavior if you have people that are working towards target as opposed to having bankers on these really, really high base salaries. And then they can mess up and they, they still get to go home with, with a very juicy paycheck. You have to actually incentivize people to make wiser decisions. But it's, that's to do with the company.
companies. It's got nothing to do. Yeah, with but the, the, the reason for the that was the shouldn't be EU. telling companies what they pay their mm. staff. It's got nothing to exactly, do with, yeah. with the government. By the way, it's one year since uh, Rishi Sunak became prime minister. Well, let's have a party. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No. It's literally still, one year. I still God. do f do find it odd, though. I'm sorry, I do find it odd that people have to be incentivised by bonuses, for goodness sake. Like, it works for me. Do, <laughs> I think, I think the a couple million quid do, every do, Christmas. Do, I'll, I'll take it. I, I think the thing is, you have to you have to work in a sales environment to understand. Because one one thing about sales, and I you know I often say this, the the base salary is kept low for a reason. So actually, if you want to live like like live properly, you have to make decisions that will you know. Uh, sort of benefit your bottom line. You effectively run yourself and your activities as a, as a company, as a, a one-man company. Mm -hmm. And I actually think it incentivizes um, better practice. But doesn't the, it the reason incentivize for the cap... people to take risks, though, doesn't it? No, because the thing is, if you take risks, then you don't eat. If you take bad risks, it affects you personally. The reason why this law, um, this um, cap on banker's bonuses was even initiated was because of the crash in, in 2008. Mm. And the EU wanted to find better, way to in, better ways to incentivize better behavior. But it had the opposite effect. And also, there's the issue of sort of talent, right? If you're, if you're very good, you should be paid more, right? And that's based on your actions as opposed to, oh, you just have this sexy CV, so let's chuck millions of pounds at you. I just don't think it's got anything to do with governments, what companies pay their... Mm. Oh, and there's that as well, yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah.